Hello everyone. One of the most common questions I receive on my channel is how to install and play Total Annihilation in the modern age. Luckily, even though the game is over 25 years old, the installation process is still fairly easy because of all the support and updates the loyal community has given and continues to provide even after all this time. Downloading and installing Total Annihilation on modern systems and playing online couldn't be more easy, and in this short video, I'll show you how. In order to play Total Annihilation, the first thing you will need to do is purchase a copy of the game. There are two main websites where you can purchase uh, this game in the modern era. Uh, the first one is GOG.com, that is G-O-G.com, and you will find the Total Annihilation Commander Pack, which includes the game and all expansions for $5. The second one is, of course, Steam. And uh, Steam also sells the game for $5, but you can find it on sale. For example, there's a sale right now in which the game is only 74 cents. And of course, uh, this also includes the game and all the expansions. Uh, however, some people do prefer to buy it on GOG because GOG is DRM free. So you can buy one copy and share it with all your friends and family. Um, unlike the Steam version in which you have to have one account and you cannot share it with anyone else. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Steam might be more convenient, but GOG is DRM free. They both have advantages and disadvantages, but either way, you need to purchase the game uh, in order to move on to the next step. After purchasing the game, you will need to download it and install it on your computer. So if you bought it on GOG, you will need to log in to your account. Once you are logged into your account, you will need to go to your user, go down to games. So for me, it's wing flyer. I'm going down to games here. And then you will have your whole collection of games and you can simply click on total annihilation, which will be in your games list. And instead of clicking this download and install now, do not click that. That will make you download a, an entire client. It is actually easier to download if this is closed Click on this download offline backup game installers and you can just get the installer without any of the um, you know, logging in uh, shenanigans that GOG wants to do. So you can just install the game uh, in a much cleaner way. Now for Steam, it is a similar process. You simply go to your Steam account if you're logged in, if you have the Steam client, find the game and install it on your computer. Uh, just remember where you install it and you can simply put it on there. Now for GOG, once the EXE has been downloaded, it will look like this. Set up Total Annihilation Commander Pack. You can double click on it. It will bring up the setup menu and you can simply go from there. Just guys, remember, you need to remember where you have put your game. I'm going to put it in X Games Total Annihilation. And you can simply install it and it will go through the installation process. So as you can see, I'm installing the game both through GOG and uh, Steam right now. Uh, guys, both of these games are essentially the same. It doesn't matter where you purchase it, just as long as you have a copy. And now let's move on to the next step. Once you have installed the game, the next thing you will need to do is go to taforever.com uh, and download the Total Annihilation Forever client. Uh, guys, again, that is taforever.com, all one word. I will put the link in the description along with the links with uh, the Steam and GOG uh, store page. And once you come to this website, you simply download the client. It will download it to your computer. And once that is finished downloading, you can run the client and we will move on to the next step. Okay, so once your TA Forever client is downloaded, you can double click on it. Uh, it might give you a warning. You simply run it anyway, and then you will go through the installation process for the TAF client. Now guys, the TAF client is the modern day uh, online client that allows us to play uh, Total Annihilation with other people, install all the latest mods. Uh, guys, make sure this, is, this client is put in a separate folder than your TA folder. 
needs to have its own folder and I'm just going to make a folder called TAF. That's Total Annihilation Forever for short. But you can call it whatever you want. Uh, it just needs to be in its own folder. And then install it. Uh, so guys, this again is the client that allows us to play with other people, install all the, co the, the modern mods, have all the support, have the new features. Uh, this is the uh, built by the community to make this whole process very easy for us. And once it is finished installing, you can go ahead and run the, uh, run the client. So the first thing you will need to do is create an account. Um, all you need to do is choose a username and an email. Uh, you know, for example, I already have a user. I already have this, but you know, I could just make wing flyer, put in your email. Uh, once you put in your email, for example, uh, it will send a, a verification and you will need to go and click that verification to get access to the TA forever client. It will also give you an opportunity after that to create a password for your account. Uh, so guys, you know, creating uh, an, a username can be frustrating, but you only have to do it once. You only have to verify your account once, and then you will have access to your account forever. And this is simply a part of the process of playing online and getting all the latest, greatest versions and maps uh, for Total Annihilation. You have created an account. You will simply log in to the client, which is now installed on your computer with your new username and password. Apparently I used the wrong password. And it will log you into the server here. I'm gonna just go ahead and maximize it. And this is where you can find all the games. Now the first thing you'll need to do as soon as you log in is go to settings. So there's a three little bars up here for the options, go to settings. And the first thing you need to do is click on Total Annihilation and you need to uh, point the, the game to your TA directory. So let's say uh, I wanted to install uh, TA Escalation, which is the game I cast most on this channel. First, I need to go here, base TA copy. This is where you installed the game. You need to know where you installed it. Shouldn't be too hard. If you installed it on Steam, you can go to uh, right click on it, go to manage and browse local files. That will show you where it is installed if it's on Steam. And um, with GOG, you simply need to know where you installed it. So for me, it's this X Games Total Annihilation. Either way, you need to choose one of those directories wherever you installed it. Remember where you installed it. So we'll do X Games Total Annihilation. That is where I installed it. Now, what it's going to ask for is where you want to install the mod to. So this is a mod. This is the mod that we play the most on the channel. Um, and we can say we are going to install this in X Games. Uh, we will just call this Total Annihilation. And then we will make a new folder called Escalation. Okay, so now you see I've got the, the base copy of the game. This is my directory that I just installed. And here is the installation for this mod that we're gonna be playing, Escalation. And then you press okay. Once you press okay, it will begin downloading all the files that you need to play the mod. Guys, I highly recommend using a mod because the mods have all the latest updates, all the latest features, um, all these cool uh, things you can do. Uh, no one really plays OTA anymore, so guys, if you're going to play online or even play by yourself or play against the AI, you definitely want to use a mod. Uh, the two most common mods are Escalation and ProTA. And so once I've installed Escalation here, I can make a game and call it whatever, Test Game. Here's all my maps and we will click sail away. We'll create a game. It will prompt you with a bunch of stuff, but uh, to test it, you can quickly, uh, 
you can simply click start and that will get you it will send you straight into the game and if you got to this screen then it worked you're doing a good job everything's fine now let's say I wanted to install Protea all I need to do then is decline that is create game I can click on Protea I want to cl uh, click a Protea game and there's a install Protea and it has even created a folder so now that I've told it where my base copy is it knows and I can install Protea it's already made a folder for me I can press OK it will install Protea and bada bing, bada boom. That's all it takes, guys. Uh, it is a pretty simple process. And I can simply launch the game, and here I am. I could, I could start a Protea game like that. Uh, there's other really cool features, guys. Maps are really important. Uh, any map that you want to uh, play, and there's, there's tons to choose from, you can simply go to the map section, tell the tell the client which mod you're trying to install the map for and you can just click on any of these maps and it will it will download it straight to your folder uh, if you join a game if you join someone's game that's already happening it will auto download those maps and uh, guys that's about it that's how you install the game it's pretty simple there's not much to it remember uh, you need to buy the game you need to download and install the game install TAF client and then simply point the TAF client to where you installed the game and, uh, and where you want the mod to be installed. And it will do the rest for you. So guys, uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to join my Discord. I will uh, post a link in the uh, description of the video. And uh, if you're having any issues installing or running it, uh, we would be more than happy to help you. But either way, guys, I hope this video has been informative and uh, guys I, I hope to see you online.